Hello everyone, this is Brian LeDuc, and this is part two of the Affinity Designer and Amadine comparison video. Now we're going to talk about the verdict of the two. I went over uh, 22 different comparisons. Now we're going to look at how it all comes down to um, the program's performance. So we're going to take a look at compatibility first. So if I, so over here, this is Affinity Designer, and and this over here is Amadine. So if I go to Affinity Designer and go to File, Export, these are the different um, file types that are compatible with Affinity Designer. So first of all, um, for people who come from Adobe Illustrator, we would want to know if um, Adobe Illustrator is compatible with Affinity Designer. Okay, so here is a Mega Man drawing I drew in Adobe Illustrator. Now, disclaimer, I did not create Mega Man. This is only fan art. So I'm going to double click this. And my default program for Illustrator files are um, Affinity Designer. Okay, now I see that the layers are still nested. Um, I see you see that this layer of the black is a lot darker. It's at 100%, whereas before I think it was on 50. So I'm gonna just bring it down a little, just so you can see a little bit of the background. So if I like hide this, for example, so you have that in the background. So if I expand the layers, I did use um live paint for the, some of the objects here. So let's see if I uh, hold command and select this character. I did use a live paint for the for these characters. Oh no 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 I forgot. You know what actually I use um I drew these characters in Photoshop and then I did um the live trace in Adobe Illustrator. That's right, that's what I did for the for the characters. So if I select an object and right, and some of these I think was live paint. So I'm gonna do auto scroll so I can see where I'm clicking this. Yes. If it has an option, if it has a mask that looks like this, it means that it was a live it was a live paint object. So you have um, the files compatible, if you have Illustrator files compatible with Affinity Designer, okay, there, is, there are some slight changes of formatting though, since there are some tools in Illustrator that are not in Affinity Designer. So that's understandable. Now I'm going to open this file in Amadine and see how that works. Right, and it's not in the list here, so I'm going to go to Other. See that it's not highlighted. So you can't open Illustrator files in Amadine. Now if I go to Amadine, you just go to File, Export. I see that these are the file types that can be open. Now PDF can be a vector format and SVG can be a vector format. I'm not too familiar with EPS. Here is an old SVG file made in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to open this in Affinity Designer. Okay, and it seems to um, everything seems, seems compatible. And there are some like changes here, but I'm able to select everything. If I hold command and select, then I select individual objects. Let's try this in Amadi now. Let's 
Okay, I can see that it is that it is identifying the paths. I although I have to double click, double click again, double click again. Everything needs to be in isolation mode in order for this to work. So press escape. Because you see I open a layer and then open it again, open it again, open it again. But it looks like that, um, but it looks like SVG is compatible with Amadine. It's just not as intuitive as Affinity Designer. And I see that there are some strokes here that are missing, like the line for Scott's neck and arm, and Angie's eyelash doesn't seem to be as thick right here. And again, there's a line missing for Dana's arm. Line right here. Line here. So there are like compatibility issues with the SVG file type. Let's see how PSDs work in Amadine. Hold on, it doesn't look like it's on the list. If it's not on the list, chances are that it can't be opened to the program. I froze. Yep, see how it's not highlighted? So PSDs can't, cannot be opened either. Okay, here is an old drawing of Muscle Dog converted to PDF. So I'm going to open this in Affinity Designer, and then we're going to see how it works in Amadine. Alright, now all these maintain its vector qualities. That's good. It does look like that they are that that it does it did reformat, but we still have the color quality. I forget how I created this. I don't think this this time it was a live paint. I think I may have made um, color behind the paths. I don't remember. But okay, now let's see how it how this works in Amadine. Okay, and again, it did not clip to canvas, and it's one giant shape. Like if I double click this, it doesn't isolate these different objects. So it doesn't look like Amadine is really compatible with file types. Okay, the next section is speed. So we're going to see how fast both Affinity Designer and Amadine are. In Affinity Designer, I'm going to change the lens, change this uh, document from portrait to landscape. And I'm going to just create a little jar. Okay, so that's that one star has um, like has an effect on it. It actually has three effects on it. And I'm going to make several duplicates of that star. So I'm going to hold Command. Drag, hold command, and I'm going to resize this a little. Okay, now it's not perfect. I mean, if I spent a whole lot of time doing this, I could uh, make everything look more consistent. So, I'm able to make a bunch of stars with three different effects on the gradient background. I'm able to zoom in very fast. Now I'm going to try to do something very similar in Amadine and see how the speed compares. Okay, so to have this document be landscape, over here where it says Sheets, I'm going to click the, um, was it the gear icon? Yes, the gear icon. Okay. 
I start dark and get light. With Affinity Designer, I start light and get dark. I mean, I'm gonna change the color anyway, so I don't think it really. Right, now I'm trying to zoom out. I just use my mouse wheel. All right, see, it's zooming right now, my, and I release my hand from the mouse. Okay. Now I'm gonna try zooming back in. So I'm zooming in right now. I release my hand. Yeah, it's still, it's still zooming in. Okay, so the speed needs to be addressed with the zoom function on the mouse wheel. But if I use the zoom on with the magnifier, It, it works faster. And I'm holding Alt while doing this so it, it zooms out. I mean, I could also do it up here also. But it, see how it's still kind of slow. So this is um, a challenge for vector design. Speed is definitely a thing. Like, speed is definitely a requirement. Now that everything's deleted, I can go a lot faster. Okay, now as for bugs, I showed a list of bugs in Affinity Designer. I'll, I can link you to the video if you want to know, and there's still several more bugs. Um, so there are only two bugs that I could find in Amadine so far. So one bug is when you use the eraser tool with an XP pen artist. That is the name of the tablet that I use. I don't know if it's the same with other tablets. So see how I have the pencil tool right now. I can draw and everything works fine. Now if I take the eraser tool and try erasing over, I'm using the pencil tool even though I have the eraser tool selected. Now I'm going to try doing the same with my mouse. So I'm going to just click off, click back on. And now it works fine, but it won't work if you're using a tablet. Another bug is that the lifetime preview size of the pencil stroke changes after you zoom into your document. So I'm drawing and see how the stroke size comes out as the proper size. So I'm bringing it up to, I'm going to leave it at 12. Oh, and I'm going to change pressure to uniform so you can see this well. Now I'm going to zoom in. And now when I try drawing, see how it comes up like that? And now when I release, it appears the proper size. So that's another bug in Amadine. With Affinity Designer, there are tons and tons of bugs, unfortunately. And I did make a video on that if you want to take a look at what bugs I found. And there are many, many others that are posted on the forum, so just keep in mind. So this is a new program, so I'm sure it is going to get buggy <laughs> now and then. Okay, now if we look at the highlights of both programs... How do we decide what program we use for what tasks? So for the highlights for Affinity Designer, I would say our speed, compatibility, like brush stabilizers, like transparency tool, vector crop tool, multiple shape tools, round corner tool, and pixel tools. Now for Amadine, there are highlights that I think would make uh, this program um, better to use than in Affinity Designer. And there are features in Affinity Designer that I think would be better to use than Amadine. So the highlights for Amadine, it would be the width tool, the cutter tools, such as the knife, scissors, and eraser, multi-stroked text, vector distort tools, maintains multiple stroke relatives on rescale and artboard arrangements. So there you go. 
These are the highlights of both Affinity Designer and Amadine. I'd say like what program is better would all be up to debate. I personally like Affinity Designer better, but I think Amadine is off to a great start. I think that the first two things that Amadine would really need to catch up on is both compatibility and speed. Aside from the features, I think that's what makes programs unique and what desires us to try them, try them all out. So I hope this video was helpful. Have a good day.